What's going on guys? It's your man Ed Hayes here and in this video I wanted to bring you all some of the latest updates and what's going on in the real estate market in the wholesaling market. Um, there's a lot of updates going on right now so I just want to keep you all updated, keep you informed so you can act accordingly out here in this real estate market. It's going to be wholesaling news episode one. It's going to be a new segment on the YouTube channel. As a lot of you all know I have a wholesaling news segment on my podcast the wholesaler mastermind links in the description but I'm gonna be like transitioning over my podcast segments over onto the YouTube channel so I can keep you all updated as well so I hope that you all are pumped once again hit that like button for me right now guys let's try to get let's say 25 likes on this wholesaler news video now let's get into the news push the button push the goddamn button push the goddamn button you heard what she said. All right, guys. So in this first article, it's going to be an article from the Seattle Times. Okay. So in this article, they talked about how the pandemic is affecting the real estate market right now. And one of the things that they mentioned in this article is that there are a ton of advocate groups that are worried that homeowners are going to get taken advantage of during this pandemic. So they interviewed a variety of people like agents, wholesalers, investors, um, and got their opinions and perspectives on what's going on. And as a lot of us know already, during the Great Recession, foreclosures went through the roof and a lot of investors got rich during those times. Well, the local government out in Seattle is actually encouraging its citizens to like contact local authorities if investors or wholesalers reach out to them with marketing mentioning the pandemic. There's already a huge negative stigma attached to wholesaling across the nation. So if you are in the Seattle area, just make sure that you protect yourself. You probably don't want to have your marketing material mentioning Corona or anything like that because citizens have been put on notice. However, though, as far as home prices, Seattle is actually still booming right now. So according to an article from KIRO7 out in Seattle, despite the pandemic, Seattle's real estate market is still rocking and rolling out there. So right now, interest rates are still at historic lows and nationwide, we're dealing with an historic housing shortage. So out in the Seattle area, buyers are still paying full market price and even over market price for properties in the area. Now in the next story of the day, we're gonna be talking about this Forbes article that kind of goes into like how the, the, the pandemic is affecting the real estate market now and also how it is expected to affect the market going forward. So there was a few takeaways from this article. One, Airbnb cancellations are rampant right now. Two, the, the Pennsylvania Association of Realtors are suing the governor of Pennsylvania. And three, everything is being done virtually right now. So let's start off with Airbnbs. At the, the beginning of this crisis, Airbnb and other like short-term rental vacation sites saw a huge uptick in reservations. Um, however, that was ended really, really shortly because governments around the nation banned those short-term rentals from actually taking place. So currently, Airbnb and other vacation rental sites, their reservations are down 75% right now. So I know if you've got an Airbnb, it can be rough times right now. Hang in there, guys. It's not gonna be like this forever. The next story, though, was talking about Pennsylvania's governor, how he's under fire right now because he decided to list companies such as bike repair shops and his cabinet supply company as essential businesses where real estate agents are still not defined as a, an essential business out in Pennsylvania. So therefore, the Pennsylvania Association of Realtors have actually filed a lawsuit against Pennsylvania's governor stating, quote, the lawsuit specifically requires or requests that the governor designate real estate services as a life-sustaining business, contending that the three essentials to life are food, clothing, and shelter. The basic premise is that the governor is preventing Pennsylvanians' ability to gain shelter, end quote. 
So to me, like the 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 fact that there's infighting going on within local governments right now is pretty crazy. Pennsylvania, like the association is literally suing the governor right now. And you know, that's some Chicago type stuff with the governor trying to make sure that their business makes money, whereas everyone else um, is kind of sitting on the sidelines waiting right now. So I do agree with the Pennsylvania Association of Realtors that um, real estate is definitely an essential service. However, you know, states all across the nation are kind of in line with Pennsylvania's governor. And lastly, though, in this article, they talked about how virtual tours and virtual signings are likely to become a staple going forward. So right now, you know, most showings are happening virtually, either through 3D tours or virtual tours, and most documents are getting signed virtually via DocuSign or Sign Now and other services like that. So essentially, this article is saying get used to these services and get used to this being the standard going forward. Now, the next article that we're going to be talking about is the Nevada Association of Realtors are getting savvy out here, y'all. So y'all probably heard me talking about it in a couple videos on the channel and in the mastermind sessions. I've talked about how you know a lot of investors are putting what they call a coronavirus clause into their contracts to make sure that these deals go through. So the Las Vegas Association of Realtors actually created a coronavirus clause or a coronavirus addendum and they made it available for download online. So you can actually download this coronavirus clause addendum using the links in the description of this video. I got y'all taken care of. Pretty much what that addendum is doing is allowing buyers and sellers an additional out if they are affected by the coronavirus. And I've also seen other investors um, adding in like longer contingency periods or like longer inspection periods. And they use that as like their coronavirus clause. So either longer inspection periods or like an addendum that says, hey, if you are affected by the virus, then we'll release you from this contract. Now, our last story of the day, guys, when it comes to the wholesaling news and keeping up with the real estate market right now is that home sales have dropped by an estimated 30%, guys. However, prices have not yet followed that trend. So currently, there is still a seller's market out there right now. Now, in 2008, when we had the Great Recession, the situation was that we had a ton of supply on the market, but buyers stopped buying because you know the market was very uncertain at that time. Now, in 2020, the situation is kind of flipped. It's kind of like the complete opposite thing. Well, right now, we're actually dealing with a historic housing shortage right now, and interest rates are extremely low. So despite this pandemic, prices have held very steady in our 2020 situation that we're dealing with right now. So the difference is that there's not a ton of supply on the market. So even in places like we talked about earlier in Seattle, home sales are still rocking and rolling where properties are still selling for market price, above market price. So the, 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 the prices have not yet fallen, guys. And I know, for me personally, a lot of my buyers, including myself, are actually waiting until the market kind of bottoms out before we start to dive into the market right now. So there still is a huge demand for properties right now. More sellers are starting to list their properties, but some of them are realizing that they're having to sell for, for less than what they wanna sell for due to there being less buyers in the market and less people actually viewing properties right now. So as I said, virtual tools, virtual signings may start to become a staple in our industry going forward. Kind of keep that in mind and be aware of that. But yeah, though, guys, I think that that's about it for this video. Check out all the links and all the articles that I talk about in this wholesaling news episode in the links of the description of this video. If you find real estate news videos like this helpful, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that like button, guys, so YouTube shows this video to other people. Like I said earlier, I've got a like goal. Let's try to get 25 likes on this wholesaling news video. If you're still listening now, I'm going to assume that you probably like this video. So just go ahead 
it, hit that like button for me. I would definitely appreciate it. And also head over to howtowholesalehouses.com so you can check out my Wholesaler University course where there's nearly a hundred video lectures showing you everything I know about real estate investing from point A to point Z. But yeah, I hope that you all like this video. And until next time, guys, we are out. Yeah. <laughs>